it's been a while and we have a lot to catch up on. So I thought I would do a little vlog today and talk about where I've been, why I haven't been posting, try and get back into the swing of things and um, get back to it. I do want to mention before I get into this, you probably could tell from the title of the video, probably the thumbnail as well, that we're going to be talking about heavy topics. So this is your trigger warning right now. If pet loss is something you don't want to hear about, I would skip forward to either the timestamp on screen now or maybe skip this video entirely. My hair is still wet, but I decided I would film this now so I don't keep putting it off and never film it and never get back to the vlog channel. But i um, cozy on the floor now. And uh, as you know, I tend to to push off videos on this channel when I get really busy with my main channel, my main YouTube channel, Griffey. That's my like bread and butter. That's my full-time job. And things were getting busy because obviously Horse Ranch was coming out recently. And um, unfortunately in the midst of that, I lost my cat, Rio. You've probably seen him in a bunch of my vlogs. He's been in a lot of streams. I've posted a lot of pictures of him and he's always been a really big part of my life. He was only 11 years old, which isn't young, but for a cat, 11 isn't isn't that old. And um, it was really sudden. It, it wasn't something that I was expecting. And it kind of rocked my world for a little while. And I was barely getting anything done. I wasn't really getting out of bed. I wasn't doing anything other than like crying for a while because he was always by my side. He was, he was kind of a jerk. I called him all kinds of bad names all the time because he, he wasn't, he was a jerk. <laughs> we're gonna put it that way but he was mine and I loved him and I've had him I had him since he was two months old and he was my cuddle buddy he was a big boy he was 18 pounds and he just always wanted to be on my shoulder but um on July 3rd after stream like right after stream that day I took like a 45 minute power nap because I was exhausted but I still had a lot of work to do and uh, then I came back into my office and I was editing or actually I was building something and when I had to go back and edit that footage it was really difficult but um, in the middle of building all of a sudden it felt like something hit the bottom of my chair and it scared me so I kind of screamed and then I turned around and it was Rio he had collapsed on the bottom of my chair and he was limp and like making really weird movements with his mouth. I panicked immediately called the emergency vet and started CPR on him. Unfortunately, on the way to the vet, he like released his bowels and um, I was pretty sure he was gone by the time we got there and I was right. Um, basically, Rio suffered a sudden heart attack. They don't know exactly um, what happened because it would have been a lot of money to find that out, but he has always had a heart murmur and they said it was probably because of that that often happens in cats around his age that are large male cats who have heart murmurs. They just kind of suddenly have a heart attack and they're gone. I had this blanket that I got at Target months ago and I, I just like comfort items and I've always kind of had this in my lap when I'm working and um, there was he was limp when we brought him to the vet so we couldn't put him in a carrier so I had him wrapped in this and um, this is the blanket he passed away in and it feels really special to me now so. That's the update on Rio. Most of the time I'm okay. Talking about it makes me a little emotional, so. But I, I wanted to put this somewhere because I know especially on stream, people are gonna be asking about it. He was such a big part of stream. He would interrupt stream and climb on me and like lick my face. And half of my emotes are on Twitch are of Rio. And um, so I just wanted to talk about it. Give you all some information, give you all some closure because I know a lot of you loved Rio too. And I wish that's where the bad news ended, but unfortunately it's not. Maybe a week, a week and a half after Rio passed, my Rabbit Wednesday started acting weird. Acting like something was wrong. She was like leaning to one side. Her, she didn't have interest in food. And we brought her to the emergency vet and um, she's still with us, but she's she's having a really hard time. If you're familiar with rabbits, you should know what E. caniculi is. If you're not, um, it's a really not fun parasite that rabbits unfortunately have to deal with. I believe 80% of rabbits have been exposed to it in their lifetime and are carrying it but only about 2% of them ever present with symptoms and unfortunately Wednesday is presenting with symptoms right now. She doesn't really have control of her limbs, she can't eat on her own and her head is completely tilted 90 degrees to the side and um, she's been flipping a lot um, so she, she's just very dizzy. It's basically like having vertigo all the time. 
constantly and it it's it's a parasite that like attacks the brain and or get like all of her organs and she's really struggling it's a curable thing or manageable at least uh she's on a few different medications uh twice a day for the next month but it's really taxing on me and my boyfriend taking care of her it's very sad and it coming right after the loss of rio has been has been really difficult so that's the update that's why I haven't been streaming. That's that's everything going on right now. Um, with that though, I am trying to get back into the swing of things. I really need to catch up on work. I also, in the middle of that, was in New York City for a couple of days for a workshop, which was so much fun. And I learned a lot of valuable things about like YouTube and I'm excited to implement that. That's actually where I got my shirt. I went to uh, the Nintendo store in New York City and I got this KK slider shirt. I thought it was so cute. Uh, so very positive there um but yeah i just thought i would update you all in this video and then follow through with my day as i try and get back into the swing of things because it's really hard to do that after loss and after like more traumatic events happening like this um, but i thought it would be nice to be real about that and talk about it because we we all go through it and it's it's difficult you kind of have to take it day by day and um Thank you for being so understanding and giving me time to grieve. And I'm hoping I'm gonna be back on Twitch soon. Maybe by the time this goes live, I already will be. Uh, but with that being said, before we get into the rest of my day and trying to get back into the swing of things, I did wanna mention that I do have a few like Squish videos, I think three of them that I filmed before all of this happened. I just haven't ha had time to edit them yet. So hopefully those will be coming out after this video before we get into like other vlogs and stuff. Um, and one of those was something that I filmed like punching all day. And then I was like, when I get home, I'll do it. A haul. I still haven't done it. It's been over a month, so I might haul those things today too. So you might see this face again uh, at the end of that video. And um, with that, I just did a couple of voiceovers, so I'm gonna edit those. Yeah, I'm gonna edit those uh, to get a video out for today. I'm posting a rustic apartment today, which is quite exciting. I had wanted to build something in an apartment using the new horse ranch items. I think they're cool. And then I have a meeting later today with a potential sponsor and editing tomorrow's video. And I'm also working on a Texas build because the state series. I think Horse Ranch is perfect for Texas, so uh, I'll probably share a little bit of the behind the scenes of that later as well, but for right now, editing audio. So I definitely told you that I was gonna touch back with you yesterday, and now it's over 24 hours later. Uh, it's just been kind of hectic trying to get back into everything, and I was a little overwhelmed and I forgot to continue the vlog, but that's okay. I've been working some more today. I have a couple more things I want to do tonight, but first I need to run to Target uh, because I still haven't mailed out the thank you notes for everyone that donated over $100 to our Rainbow Railroad charity campaign in June. So I'm gonna get everything I need for that, and then I think I'm finally gonna film a haul of some squish I picked up, like, over a month ago so I can get that stuff filmed tonight and I also got some new headphones so we'll be unboxing those so yeah I figured you could come to Target with me and we could pick out some cards. Looking at cards at Target now and there's a few different options but I think these are going to be perfect because they're thank you and they're like the rainbows. There's also these but I think I like these better so we're gonna go with that. I can't believe this is here right now there's no tag on that one. Danny. Danny. Okay. What a cutie. I need this. Look, it's got two teeth. I need that. Okay. Back home now, I did end up getting these cards and like some really cute like pug and cat stickers, which I, I really liked. I wanted to add some like bonus stuff into those cards. Here, let me turn the light on. So I'm going to be filling those out in a little while, but I also have some squish I really want to haul to finish that video that I started filming a month ago and I was also supposed to do a QA and a here on the channel. I might do that tonight too while, while I have this camera out. My camera died but here let me go through the piles of stuff I have. I have a box, lunch bag, and I think a Claire's bag too. Let me grab it. Yeah. Uh, I like squish mellows. <laughs> I also need to unbox this. It's a new pair of headphones because mine have been broken for a very long time and <laughs> they keep falling off my head. So got new ones. Back on the floor again, uh, but I wanted to open the headphones. I don't know about you, but I always like a good unboxing. So I'm gonna attempt to cut this open with scissors. I'm always quite bad at opening packages. And uh, these are the headphones I got. They're the same ones I had before. I think they're just a newer version. I use JBL Live head uh, over the ear headphones so that they don't interfere with my glasses. And I also get the noise canceling ones. <laughs> these are kind of pricey, but um, I guess super overstimulated easily. I've talked about this before, but I'm autistic and uh, 
These are my favorite headphones. My other ones are super broken. I'll show you. <laughs> and the part that's annoying is this one like pops out like this and doesn't sit on my head properly and they just kind of, yeah. And the noise cancellation part isn't working and they're just, I think it was time. So I'll be cracking in these later tonight. So that should be fun. Uh, but now I'm going to sit here and I'm going to cut. You're not going to see this. It'll be in a different video. And you probably also saw it. Target, I picked up a squish, but that's not going to be in this video. But uh, I'm going to film a haul for a different video now. So I'll see you after that. Okay, I filmed the squish haul. I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek. Which item do I want to show you? This is your sneak peek. Watch the video. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but with that, I think I'm going to record my Q&A now because I'm already set up and I like how the camera view looks right here. So I'm going to film that and I'll be on the lookout on the channel for that sometime soon. I did it. I answered 25 questions. Now I need to write out some cards and I think that's most of the rest of my day. Film that, write, film Q&A, write out thank you cards, set up new headphones. Yes. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I wrote these out and now I'm going to get some stickers together. I have a few different things. I showed off these ones that I just picked up at Target that have like some kitties and some pugs, which I thought were really cute. I also have these rainbow stickers, these stickers, and I have our pride emote as well as some of these rainbow plum bobs. So I'm gonna put a variety of these in each of our cards and write out the addresses and I'll get those mailed out tomorrow. So let's do that. I filled them out. They all have little stickers on the back, which I think is really cute. I just gotta put stamps on them now. Let me grab my stamps. We just got some new ones and they're really cute. They have elephants on them. I'm gonna put the stamps on these now and I'll mail those in the morning. And let me check off a couple things off my to-do list. Film haul, write out thank you cards, film Q&A. I think that's pretty much all I have to do for the rest of today. I have a bunch I need to do tomorrow and stuff I could work on tonight, but do I actually wanna try and call it an early night? It's almost 9 p.m. already, but like, to be honest, I usually work until like midnight, so. That would be an early night for me. Plus, I need to feed Wednesday. Uh, she's still being syringe fed, so we're gonna do that here shortly. But um, yeah, I think I might end the vlog here. I'm just gonna put stamps on these cards, set up my new headphones, and maybe just watch some Hulu. So thank you so much for joining me for this vlog. I know it's kind of a heavy one, but I just wanted to talk about what happened and try to get back into the swing of things. And I think I've had a really productive couple of days. So thank you for joining me for that. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.